When the car goes in a limp mode with code P1688, there is few things that you need to check. The vibration damper split, the operation of bypass valve, uh, the condition of uh, the serpentine belt, uh, operation of the alternator, the rubbers of, on the intercooler. On the intercooler itself, there is leak of oil on the intake manifold. And during a live data session, I select a few variables of my interest. On in this case, intake air pressure, uh, intake air pressure before the compressor, or in other words, this is where uh, the T map uh, sensor is. That is only the map sensor, and uh, I selected the bit bit fault. One thing that we need to observe is that uh, when you are cruising the pressure before and after the compressor is, it should be the same because the there is a lot of vacuum at this point and the uh, and the and the bypass valve is open so what keeps the pressure the same so the difference is when you start a hard acceleration so that you have the full throttle open that uh, uh, the the RPM is going to increase, so you are going to build up pressure, and then the bypass valve is going to close. But on this case here, you see that the car went in limp mode because the the uh, uh, intake manifold pressure uh, fault bit uh, went active. So we are going to to analyze this a little bit better here. On the moment that the car went on limp mode, where you see the uh, fault bit here is being activated, I was in, a, in the process of a hard acceleration. Uh, what happens here, the, the pressure on the uh, intake, it should be r rising and, uh, and separating because the bypass valve at that point was being uh, closed. But what happens here, Instead, the pressure building building up, uh, there is a drop, and at that point, by the throttle position, the ECU knows, oh, there is something wrong because it should have been a, a, a higher dif a pressure difference, and in the, how the pressure is equal, it throws the uh, the default bit put in the car uh, on. Wind. Here we are going to see the operation of uh, the bypass uh, valve opening and closing. So my next step was after checking uh, everything and uh, looking the the live data, I decided to replace the the T map sensor and uh, actually where the problem was. After replace the T map se uh, sensor. I did in another uh, live, live data session and here we can see when I was cruising with the car the intake air pressure and the intake air pressure before the compressor are the same as supposed to but here when you start uh, uh, in a point of hard accelerations you see that uh, how the uh, intake air pressure it goes and when uh, uh, you release the throttle the bypass valve open so the pressure goes back to equal so in, and then again you go to an, another hard acceleration and uh, you can see that uh, you build up pressure on the on the intake so that's I'm happy that 
I have uh, able to to fix the problem in the car.